So here's a short video about the user interface when using NX Sheet Metal. I've got a part on screen and a number of features in my part navigator. I'm looking at my ribbon with all the commands there. And if you're following an instruction online, you think, well, hang on, there's some commands here that, that are missing. This is what I would see if I installed NX and open it out of the box. And the first thing to note is some of the more advanced or extended features are not there. Also, if I go to one of the basic features and open this dialog, we'll find that maybe some of the functions that are demonstrated in different videos are not there. So using this basic layout, which was referred to as a role. And if we go to the resource tab down here, we go to roles, we can see within our content folder, we have three basic roles out of the box. We have a welcome, essentials and advanced. I'm currently set to welcome. If I open my flange command here, we can actually see that wall. I'm sure there's some more functions here. And if we just mouse over this bottom, the arrow at the bottom, we can do more, click to see all options. If I click this, we can see, ah, okay, there's some more things going on here. But I don't really want to do that every single time. So let's look at the user interface preferences. We go to File, Preferences, User Interface, or for Speed, Control 2. And if we look at the options, we can see our presentation of the dialogue is set to less. And I can change this to more which will activate all of those extra functions on the dialog. Let's not do that just now. Let's come back to here. And now let's have a look at the advanced role. You will be warned that this can overwrite any changes or customization you've already made, but we can click don't display this again if necessary. But when I hit okay, just have a look at the ribbon across the top. Now we can see more functions have been expanded and when I go into one of these functions and features, we can see all of the information is available on the dialog. If we go back to user interface preferences, which is control two, we can see this has been switched to more, but not only that, we've got some additional commands across on the ribbon. Let's go back to our welcome role and have a look right the way across on the right hand side of the ribbon here we've got this little down arrow and we can see these are the things that have been enabled in the welcome role and here's some of the things that haven't so that's what you saw when I went to the advanced roles these have been added and there's still some more there so if I go to the advanced role we now see that we've got the resize group that's been added but we've still got some others here that can be added as required. So when learning NX and getting up to speed, if you want to see everything that's usually presented in demonstrations that I do at least, I'm using the advanced role, but everything else I'm using is straight out of the box. There's no special customization to, to confuse or divert the instructions within the video. Hopefully that's a little bit helpful for you guys and um, Catch you on the next one.